Hi guys. Um, it's quite cold out there tonight. Uh, but uh, it's good that I have my little uh, personal small project going. So you are looking at a bunch of um, wooden uh, furniture or wooden accessories for your uh, AR15. I called it. I call the style as tacty wood. <laughs> Anyway, so I was designing my own battery stock, which can accommodate um, larger capacity. Uh, it can be uh, larger, chunkier, uh, but it's really hard to find a good uh, battery stock nowadays to accommodate those uh, batteries. So yeah, I got a skill of designing, I mean, simple designing or um, and I also got two 3D printers, so might as well just design my own, right? Uh, and it's not my first rodeo uh, designing this kind of stock, but anyway, this is new, like making a fake uh, wooden one. So this part here is uh, directly attached to buffer tube. And then this guy here will attach to the battery compartment. I have a really simple uh, mechanism connecting them. Um, probably version 2, I'll make it a uh, more uh, legit one. But for now, it's just a pretty ghetto uh, way of um, of combining these two together. And this guy here is simply the recoil pad or uh, the butt uh, plate for for the back of uh, the, the compartment here. Okay, the rest parts. You can download it from um, Thinkiverse. I didn't design this. I didn't design the real cover, which is m uh spec. I didn't design the make well here. Look beautiful after standing. And the tiny guy here is the hand stop. So I was using this guy here. So gel stand, mean wax. That's the best. Um, so this is really good for wood and for fiber fiber glass and also very good for those uh, vertical surfaces um basically it's so easy to apply um this on the uh wooden filament for 3d uh, printing products so basically you just uh use a pieces of uh, your um oversized t-shirt or, or sometimes we all have the t-shirts that doesn't fit uh, anymore uh, because we all gain weight <laughs> over time, right? <laughs> well, that's my case. And anyway, you just uh, uh, put a piece of, uh, of a t-shirt or uh, just have a rack and just dip it and then just wipe it on the surface. Uh, the longer you leave on the surface, you leave the gel stand on the, or any type of stand on the surface, usually the darker the color uh, it gets, up to a limit, of course. Um, so in my case, to achieve uh, this kind of color, uh, basically I let it sit for five minutes, and then uh, you just wipe it off with a clean rag. Um, I try tissue too, uh, like um, uh, those thick uh, tissue for uh, for kitchen. Uh, actually, they are working okay, uh, but you do have some frays uh, to clean after. So probably I I would just go with a rag or or a piece of uh, uh, t-shirts. Um, the trick is just tell me. This is so real. So would like. I mean, the the video doesn't do the the justice. Eh? Actually, if you check it in person, the texture of that, oh my god, just like a real wood. Actually, um, the trick is I send it. Sending is the most important part. If you want to uh, apply anything on um three D printed uh products. Or, or parts, um, I use very rough sandpaper, uh, just 
on one direction. So that I created uh, the really uh, nature-like uh, wood grain. And because it's wood, right? Uh, it cannot be perfect. It has to be natural. You have it has to be like rounded. So I round it, send it. Of course, when I design it, I already round it uh, in a model in 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 a in in a AutoCAD, right? But when while I was doing the sanding, basically I make it all the edges uh, even more uh, rounder. If you get what I mean, and I send it this way. And uh, once I um, put the gel stand on and let it sit for five minutes, uh, when I was wiping it off, the same direction. That's how you get this. Of course, you can play around. You can make it really even. Uh, it's just, um, again, you want it to be um, like real wood, right? So you need to show the wood grain the uneven uh, texture, color here. And look at this. This is just like wood. <laughs> love it. Oh my God, just love it. And this guy here. It's really hard to tell, right? I mean, it's just wood. So, um, I will put three coats of uh, varnish or clear coat uh, with gloss finish on it. So, I'll do some uh, experiment first to see how it goes because I really like what it is right now. And as you can see, um, already has some sheen on it. So I'm not sure. Um, the reason I'm putting the varnish on it uh, is just for uh, protection. But I'm, I don't know. Uh, let me sleep on it. Uh, you guys will know anyway uh, in the same video. But uh, I'll, leave it, I'll leave the decision to um, tomorrow for me. So I'm back. Um, I did slip on the decision of whether I have to um, or do what I want to uh, put the clear coats on it. And yes, I put four clear coats. Uh, I was using water-based polyurethane on a stand surface. And actually, I have to admit, um, for, for polyurethane, you have to lightly sand it. Uh, between coats and imagine like three coats are minimum and four coats um, provide uh, even better protection uh, and sanding is a lot of work especially a lot of corner here and also after you sand it you have to use uh, the, what is called a tech cloth so basically it's like a rack but very sticky and after you sand it, uh, there are so much dust still on the surface. Even you, you, you touch it, you cannot even feel it. But that will show through once you put a new coat down. So it, it, it's a must to have uh, uh, to to use the tech cloth to take away all the dust um, before you put a new coat down. But imagine four coats, so many corners, angles, um, yeah, I, I got lazy, so I didn't do that. Um, the result, um, it's okay, uh, could be better, and the main reason is actually it, it is too glossy to my liking. Uh, I do have a matte finish uh, spread on a lacquer. I'm thinking using it later, maybe. Uh, but right now, I'm waiting for everything to, to just dry. And I'm going to put everything on my rifle to see if I like it or not. 
but right now it is too glossy. Color wise, it's not too bad. From the camera, uh, it is on on the red side. But in person, um, I would call it is like pretty brown, brownish. Um, not too bad color wise. But the sheen, the gloss, uh, is what I don't like. Um, not too bad for my first try. Um. Uh, standing and varnishing um, wooden filament uh, parts. So yeah, I'll, I'm gonna put it on my rifle and hopefully everything will look good from there. Hi, so yeah, I put everything together. Um, it looks good. Uh, even better in person. I checked uh, on the camera already. Uh, really, in person, just like real wood. Still, it is too shiny, way too shiny. Um, I think I'm going to put the metal flat finish, another coat on it. Um, I just don't like the glossy finish. Uh, I'm good with flat, matte, or even satin, but not gloss. This is this is really glossy. Uh, but anyway, it's really good. Take a look at it. Just like real wood, huh? So again, I'm going to put uh, make well hand stop and uh, the M lock rail cover. Uh, I I didn't design this, so I'm going to put the links uh, from Thinkiverse uh, down the uh, description, so so you guys can download it. And this guy here, the chunky ugly one, actually. I designed it. Um, I'm still waiting for a really big lipo uh, to arrive. Um, I got it from Amazon, so in two days probably uh, you you'll, you'll be here. And actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to design a much slimmer one, um, just to make it look nicer. Because this is not a long rifle, right? So it is out of uh, pro proportion. And but I have learned so much from this project, like in terms of uh, uh, dealing with uh, wooden filament and how it works and how to stand and varnish, and then the finish code, right? Um, it is. It is so fun, so much of fun. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'll up update uh, any progress that I have for this project. But man, this is beautiful. Love it. Just love it. Thank you.